So we talked a little bit in the last video about, well, we talked a lot uh, in the last video. But basically, you know, if you, uh, a new person comes in here, they start hammering values into uh, the available karma uh, without any regard as far as the data type. Um, they start pushing values into the available karma without with without any regard to what the data type of this uh, this value might be. They're gonna you know probably not gonna do them any favors. It's gonna roll over. They're gonna wind up with negative numbers or positive numbers, and they're gonna have you know they're, they're gonna be expecting a value or a positive value of five, and they're gonna get one a a hundred or you know something ridiculous like that. So we are ooh, again. Uh, sort of expand this so we can hide some of the goodies. Um, we understand why, I don't know, she's still staring at me. There you go. So we understand on a fundamental level, uh, sign bits and all that, why, sorry, it's okay if she's staring at me. So we understand on a basic level, fundamental level, whatever you want to say, that um, why, you know, why we're seeing values that don't necessarily represent what uh, what we think they should be so you know we're searching uh, single bytes with uh, cheat engine to uh, minimize this boobs cheat engine yep let's uh, do that so now we have ass there we go uh, pick a random process because we're only talking about uh, some byte type or uh, data types Talking about four bytes, two bytes, you know, what are we talking about here? So, if we start, you know, as we've uh, pedantically covered in the previous videos, you know, we start pushing values like this into a single byte. What we're really doing is we come over, uh, we search for 256 in a value type of byte. We go over to here. What is Cheat Engine saying? Well, what Cheat Engine is really saying is looking for a bit pattern of all zeros. 257, add one. Enter, we get nothing because we didn't do the new scan, but we'll do that now. So obviously it's searching for one. Again, demonstrates the basic point that we're talking about. So how can we maybe um, illustrate this concept more with with uh, with Cheat Engine and programming languages and uh, and uh, things like that? Frankly, it's it's uh, going to be uh, really tricky. With uh, with cheat engine, you know, we have giant bomb as a link up here. It's a, a quick uh, plug. You know, big fan of the website since they started. Patrick Klepek, pretty awesome. Uh, Finny, even better. Um, I don't know. They're both about the. Anyway, Finny's awesome. Patrick's awesome. My name happens to be Patrick, so I think Patrick's awesome. Anyway, um. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically jump into a real programming language, an actual programming language. If we wanted to write applications in a programming language, we could, in fact, use this programming language that we're about to uh, discuss. So, in fact, it is named Python. Read all sorts of crazy things about it. How it, uh, you know, sort of devolves from C. Here's the guy who made it, Guido. The Ben, uh, um, the dictator for life, if you will. It's a pretty awesome picture. I uh, don't look nearly as sexy as that, but that's hardly relevant. Anyway, uh, see also you can look at languages, yada yada yada. So what, what you know, why why are we doing this? Well, I want to basically we are going to download a uh, Python is an interpreted language, as you see. So you could uh, read about what that means, uh, but basically we're not we're not going to uh, concentrate on any of that. What we're going to say is that uh, Python is a language that allows us to express uh, computer science topics in a somewhat uh, readable way, that, uh, so that we can basically everything we've done up to now we've had sort of pseudo language, open up untitled here the Notepad thing. Uh, so what do we do? You know. Uh, Make it somewhat uh, more. Uh, can I stop saying uh? Make it somewhat more uh, con well well played, sir. 
make it somewhat more concrete. This uh, statement right here is uh, is a is a valid statement in Python. So if we were to say to Python, you know, hey, karma points available equals 37, Python would say, yep, I totally know what you're saying. I want to uh, start or make a new variable, and I want to take that new variable, and I want to stuff 37, the bit pattern of 37, into that uh, variable. And uh, and then uh, from there, we could reference uh, karma points available to however the hell we wanted. In whatever context we wanted, we could write all sorts of menus and, and do all kinds of crazy uh, things. We could do event calculations. The game will add this value, yada, yada, yada. We could do all, all sorts of stuff like that. So what's uh, why are we going to do this? You know, really, you're going to install Python just to make a point about Cheat Engine? It's probably what a lot of people are asking themselves, anyone who uh, has experience with Cheat Engine. Uh, so are we, are, are we really going to do that? Yes, we're absolutely going to do that. Now, why are we going to do that? So the reason why we're going to do that is because we will install Python. Uh, does it mean that the, the viewer has to install Python? No, uh, but we or I am going to install Python and we are going to start up an instance of the Python interpreter that has um, some... Uh, some table that determines the local variables, but we're going to search for a value or search for values that, that we find interest or that we think are interesting. In that instance of the Python interpreter, we're going to get no results. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual Python interpreter and then we're going to paste this single statement right here and then we're going to search for this value of 37 in that instance of the Python interpreter because you know, once we paste this statement in, Python is going to allocate memory. It's going to assign a value, or I'm sorry, it's going to assign a name to the value of whatever we give it, in this case 37. And then we it will just make that value, it'll uh, allocate memory, and it will make that value or that variable up on the fly. And we will be able to prove the basic point of, you know, we're not completely talking out of our ass. You know, this there, there is some sound logic behind these concepts. Uh, it's not all computer science nonsense. Clicking around here a little bit as I, uh, you know, kind of think behind the scenes. So, install Python, make the variable, find the variable. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, that's what we're going to do. Bring this up. See what we got. Uh, still less than, uh, we got, we got a little bit. So. Python. This is the Wikipedia page. <clears throat> you can read about general purpose uh, languages, high level uh, programming languages, readability, dynamic types, memory management, all kinds of things that uh, link to from this uh, initial uh, blurb right up here. Incredibly relevant when it comes to Cheat Engine. Um, it does, doesn't mean that Cheat Engine, you know, specifically uh, deals with Python, you know, in, in some in some way. No, but what it means is that Python as a as a language is a high enough level that we can abstract or uh, can I talk that we can express abstract concepts in a way that is somewhat more manageable than having to jump down to assembly or uh, bit patterns or something like that and try to explain data types in that in that context instead we could use Python as a high level language you know because it abstracts away a ton of this uh, uh, pedantic nonsense that we've been talking about it gives us sort of an interface to uh, to computers and memory in general that allows us to again sort of fiddle with these concepts uh, in a more understandable way a more human uh, readable way so, you know, why did we not do this from the beginning? Uh, you know, what what does high level even mean in, in the context of what we're talking about? You know, what's high level even mean? Well, let's, uh, well, let's click on the link, see what high level programming language it says. In computer science, high level programming uh, language is a uh, language with strong abstraction from the details of the computer. So, we're not going to read any farther than that, but... It's going to reuse a word that we've talked about, or that I've said many, many times. Abstraction, you can look down at the bottom left, has a little thing, disambiguation, computer science. What is abstraction in the context of computer science? In computer science, abstraction is the process by which data and programs are defined with a representation similar in forms 
to its meaning, i.e. semantics, while hiding away the implementation details. What does that mean? That's exactly what we've been talking about as far as cheat engine, the uh, variables having uh, variables having names, and then variables having values. What does that really mean? It means that variables have memory locations, and then those memory locations have values. Are, are we absolutely sure about that? Let's, let's paste that sort of logic into it. Abstraction is the process by which data, what is data? Data is the value in the context of what we were talking about. And programs, we can ignore that, are defined with a representation. What's the representation? The representation in our case is the variable name, similar in a form to its meaning, i.e. semantics. What does that mean? That means that we can use a variable name in the context um, of an expression such that we don't have to refer to the actual memory location or the uh, constant value. We can just say something such as, we'll put that, uh, bring this back up. Well, no, we don't even have to type anything. We just, you know, scroll all the way down to the bottom where we still have this stuff pasted in. What is, uh, I don't care what any of this stuff is, highlight the expression. This is the only thing we're concerned in. What does it mean when it comes to semantics? Well, z equals x plus 1. We don't have to express memory locations or constant values here. We simply write the, we simply write what you mean is, is, is really what we're talking about here. And uh, variables and abstracting away uh, memory locations and things like that allows us to adopt um, a, way of, uh, a way of representation, as the, as the article said. Uh, so we can express uh, the intent of, the, uh, of what we're trying to do instead of expressing the absolute value. You know, so, you know, what are, what are we trying to do here? Well, we're trying to add x, uh, or we're trying to add 1 to x, and we're assigning that value to uh, z. So if we were to sort of break this up a little bit, you know, let make this a little more unclear. Well, you know, we have a value, so uh, we have a new variable. It's x. Uh, we want to assign uh, the current value of the memory location of x. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, you know, we'll just sort of put in the value. I don't know. Uh, yada, yada. Let's see what we've got. Uh, 4. So, yep, 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 yep. All right. So that's a memory uh, location, and then we're going to add one to that. Or, and, uh, you know, but we're still, I mean, we're, this expression is much less uh, understandable and uh, processable than uh, this one is, again, on a human level. So we can see this, again, this, the Wikipedia article is, is not full of shit. Obviously, it's expressing a concept. We like that concept. We're totally on board with that concept. And uh, what's the last part of that statement? Is it hiding away the implementation details? We literally just went over that. Ah, uh, shit. Let's uh, hit the button. Nope. Really? Can we undo that? All right. There we go. So it's hiding away the implementation details while uh, expressing it in a semantically understandable form. How, you know, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that it's taking this memory location, turning it into this X, much more manageable thing. We don't have to know what the location is. As a matter of fact, when you're dealing with uh, programming in general, you're never going to know what the actual uh, memory value is. You may reference or uh, uh, ask the program to give you the memory value of, of what a variable is, but you will never actually output that value. Uh, you know, to a user or something like that. It's all it's all handled behind the scenes. Lots of black magic, and uh, you know, do we do we like black magic? Eh, it's a little ridiculous sometimes, but you know, we uh, in this case, the black magic does us a huge favor, saves us tons of trouble. And uh, this this single sentence, single the first sentence as far as abstraction and computer science goes, uh, it pretty much summarizes exactly what we're trying to do with variables. And uh, everything we've gone over in the previous variable videos can be summed up in this one sentence. And this one sentence, if we were to sort of, you know, reply or apply it in a reverse sense, would explain everything we've done in the previous 10 videos or so. And, uh, you know, uh, and, and that's it.